Hi, I'm James Sirwicki. I'm a journalist and an author, and I'd like to invite you to my new class, Five Things I've Learned About the Wisdom and Madness of Social Media. So the title of the talk comes from a book I wrote years ago called The Wisdom of Crowds. And it's a book about an idea. And the idea is that under the right conditions, groups of people can be remarkably intelligent. They can actually often be smarter than the smartest person in them. And so one of the things I was interested in, in that book was figuring out what made groups smart in some situations and dumb or crazy in others. And the two things that I thought were most important were groups needed to be diverse in terms of their perspectives and opinions, and people also needed to be independent. So you wanted people to think for themselves. Now, when I wrote The Wisdom of Crowds, it was really the internet, it was just getting going. And social media was barely a glint in people's eyes. I mean, Facebook was actually founded the year that I wrote the book. And in the years since, one of the things I've been very interested in, and to be honest, kind of bothered by, is the way social media and the internet generally is sort of changing the way we learn and think, uh, what we know and how we know it, and the way we interact with each other. I think one of the great paradoxes of the internet is that on the one hand, it's really the greatest invention ever uh, in terms of giving people access to more knowledge than they ever had before, to a wider range of perspectives and opinions than they've ever had before. And so in theory, it should be making us much smarter. And yet I think in practice, the internet and social media in particular often seems to make us dumber. And I'm interested in why. And so that's really what this class is going to be about. What we're gonna look at is the way in which social media and the way it sort of, we interact on social media uh, changes the way we think. It, we're gonna look at things like the power of conformity, the power of peer pressure, uh, how the fact that social media is set up to have us influence each other rather than think for, the, for ourselves, uh, ends up changing the way we sort of make decisions or arrive at what we think is true or false. And while the talk will in some ways be about technology, I mean, it's about social media, so we'll have a discussion of technology. In a lot of ways, it's about human beings, how human beings learn, uh, how they think, um, how they decide what's true and what's false, how they interact with each other. And so we won't just be talking about social media, we'll be talking about a wide range of examples and experiments people have done uh, to show how we can interact in smart ways and how sometimes we interact in ways that are very much not intelligent. And what I hope you'll get out of the class is a better understanding of what social media does and what it is. Uh, but I also think it will make you a better and sharper user of the internet and of social media specifically. And I hope it'll make our crowd at least a little bit smarter.